Yayasan Permakultur Kalimantan is a work for environment and then local community in here. How we can bring the knowledge and then share uh, our, our knowledge into the community. So we invite a Curious Legend uh, company uh, from Australia to come to here. Curious Legends exist to inspire wonder in people in the everyday world around us. So this is for children and adults. And you know, working with theatre and education, particularly around the environment, just goes hand in hand with that. There are so many environmental problems in Kalimantan. Sometimes it's hard to know where to start. So when we first came here, we started talking to people on the ground. What would you like us to present? What are the issues here? So in the performance, we took the issue of illegal logging, deforestation and, and the fires, the, the terrible fires that burn here year after year. Semua komunitas seni macam teater, uh, macam sanggar tari, kenapa mau bergabung ini? Karena kami sangat antusias dengan proyek dari teman-teman uh, dari Australia. Karena ini berkaitan sekali dengan tanah kita, tanah Dayak, tanah tanah Kalimantan, khususnya kita orang-orang seni Kalimantan pun sangat antusias karena merasa sangat sekarang penting banget untuk kita ayo bantu kita untuk hutan kita, tanah kita supaya tetap lestari. So the first week was research, you know, visiting the museum in Palankaraya, visiting a Kaharangan elder and asking permission to use the Dayak motifs. It's organising, you know, the puppets and organising how they look, doing the design. I am currently working on a giant spirit creature puppet using bamboo and tape. Behind me is half of the Patangari Tree of Life um, puppet that is symbolic of Dayak, Dayak culture. So the workshops were kind of threefold. We had performance elements. They were also sort of a process of consultation. We were asking them throughout the workshop a lot of questions about what do they do here in Kalimantan. And finally, it was about encouraging them to come back and perform with us. Certainly weather was an issue. It is wet season. Our puppets were made out of fragile materials. We're doing the show outdoors weather was kind of a main issue for us. Just at the right moment, the clouds cleared, the sky was beautiful, and the performance was amazing. The story came to me in the middle of the night, and it was actually happened at a time when we were experiencing what has been referred to as one of the greatest environmental crimes of the 21st century, the burning of one of the last lungs of the earth, the peatland forest of Kalimantan Borneo. There was a child of pure heart who lived in the forest in harmony with all of nature until numerous disasters happened. The forest burned, the rivers were polluted and the animals started to die. So the child set off on a journey to find what was the root cause of these problems and along the way the child discovered that humans created these disasters. These disasters angered the dragon nature spirit, so the child consulted with the Dayak tree of life, the sacred Batang Haring tree. The Batang Haring tree gave some wisdom to that child. Where there is a problem, there is also a solution, and the solution is in each and every one of us. We shared four performances with local villagers. We shared two performances in the main city of Palankarai. We worked with 20 professional artists to bring the performance to life. And we worked with over 300 children across seven different organisations in the region. I really feel like it's been just this really special bond that's developed between me and the other artists and it's so unique and it's been a wonderful experience. The impact of street performance theater, I can see so many network communities in here starting to reconnect it. Yeah.